So hello, fellow Earthlings. This is Earthling 64554637728. And I wanted to talk about how I don't have a TV. I don't watch TV. And maybe uh, a lot of people are like that. But um, yeah, that's me. So as usual, I am Earthling yada yada yada. And I used to take ballroom and Latin dance classes for a while there. And it was really fun. I had a lot of fun doing that. Um, Mainly because you get the opportunity to dance with people and meet girls that you might not have met. At the same time, I don't want to make it seem as if it was uh, all fun. Um, because there were a lot of times where I did not have fun from that. Anyway, I have a master's in business administration, a computer science degree, and I take care of my uncle who has dementia. So that's me. Yeah. Anyway, um, I was, I'm like everybody else, I suppose. I grew up, well, not everybody else, but most other people. I grew up watching TV shows all the time. Um, I had my favorite TV shows growing up, like everybody else did. The last TV show that I think that I was really into was Stargate. And I would watch that religiously when I had the opportunity. That was a long time ago, wasn't it? And um, like many other people, I, I loved TV. I think what started happening was once I had consistent regular access to the internet, I could watch a lot of what I wanted when I wanted. So I still have a lot of screen time, I suppose, but just not TV time. And, you know, given that there are things like Game of Thrones and um, maybe Stranger Things, and all of these different TV shows that are available, which I have not watched. Um, It might be kind of strange to say like, why don't I watch these things? Um, Well, I guess those are different because those are like on demand to an extent. But what I found um, some time ago was that I would hear, this is what I recall happening. I would be watching TV Somebody would say something that might be of interest to me, but of course the TV is spewing whatever it's spewing and there is no interaction. There's no feedback with the TV. So I would go onto the internet and start to read about whatever it was that piqued my interest that I had heard about on TV. And, you know, I would have the TV on, I suppose, and I realized, wait a minute, it's really distracting to try to read about whatever it is that I want to find out about that I heard on TV with the TV on. So then I would like mute it and keep reading and reading about whatever it was that I wanted to find out about this thing. And I guess what I would do is I would try to do both of those things at the same time, meaning sometimes watch whatever TV show it is that I wanted to see. And in addition to that, um, read up about whatever it was that I was interested in. Of course, maybe I'm muting this thing during the commercials so I can see, um, get more information at my own pace about whatever it was. But then as time passed, um, especially as I realized that with respect to a lot of different shows that there were a lot of, unfortunately, pirate sites that I could see um, different episodes of shows that I might have missed. And um, then I I, I guess that somewhere along the line, I would have started paying attention to how much time I was actually spending, um, like, attached to the TV as opposed to and just being fed stuff as opposed to finding out what I wanted to find out, like I said, when I wanted to find out about it. And I don't know, somewhere along the lines, 
they, they, somewhere along the line, I guess I just got fed up of the pace, I think, of information that I was getting that was uniquely unique to me and that I really was interested in and not just what the TV had available at a given time. And uh, I guess I just had my TV off more and more and more. And of course, there were some shows that were not even available um, via the TV set. Um, and I guess this was before Netflix time as well. There were some shows like uh, like Naruto actually, where that people had up uploaded to YouTube and other places, and I could totally just binge on all of that stuff, and just. But I did realize too that the more that I allowed TV to get me interested in new shows, like Stranger Things, like. Uh, Game of Thrones, like all of these other things, that was still, it was just hooks in me to keep me continuing to come back to TV. And I, I didn't want to get hooked on Game of Thrones. I didn't want to get hooked on Stranger Things. I didn't want to get hooked on a lot of different TV shows that were just wasting my time and were not quite that fun I think um, and certainly not intellectually stimulating I mean I, I was thinking of how many thousands and thousands of episodes of different TV shows I've watched and by now most of us if we've been watching TV to that extent we know all the different ways that a TV show can end we know that you know there's a surprise ending there's a normal ending, there's the romantic ending, there's the everything goes bad ending of movies and TV shows, and we've seen it all. There is no more entertainment that can be had with just the regular run-of-the-mill methods that people use for TV over and over and over again. And... That would have been the reason why, you know, something like Dexter, where you take somebody who is com in normal understanding, a serial killer, evil, and you make them the good guy. And But even that, after a while, you just, okay, he's like the Punisher, right? He kills people. He's not like Batman, who's not supposed to kill people. And you get it, and then, okay, you become a little bit jaded to stuff like that. I have to say that I'm really at the point now where I am not excited to be hooked by any TV shows whatsoever. And I really don't... When I, I try to look at a movie now, it's a bit like, no, I'll, I'll watch a fraction of this thing because it's something that's supposed to be good, but then I find myself... <laughs> honestly wanting to just fast forward through the boring parts because there's so many uh, and all of the theatrical decisions that people make the pacing of the story I kind of just want the information give me the facts bam, 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 bam. you know um, so yeah all of the old pulls that TV would have had are as I mentioned surmounted by the fact of interactivity and the on-demand nature of the internet which would you know it wasn't always there for example and some of the the downsides that I've seen all the different ways that things can play out so things have to be more or less to an extent somewhat plain on on regular uh cable TV they have to be a little bit mundane they can't be too spicy and that is another reason why I wouldn't watch network TV but at the same time I don't even want to watch 
And I guess, you know, you can, you, it can be said that, okay, who really needs a TV anymore? Um, you can just have a bunch of, but I don't even want to watch series. That's the thing. I mean, the only thing that I watch now that is serial in nature is the last week, last week tonight, which is on YouTube, which is available whenever I want. Um, I did go through uh, Atlanta when it's supposed to have a new series of that coming out, so we'll see. But yeah, it's just it's another thing that I never thought that I would get to the point where I wouldn't be doing it anymore, like watching TV shows. I mean, but yeah, oh yeah, I, I know I have other goals and I need more time in my life that can't be taken up by watching TV series. I don't want to spend time watching TV series, even on HBO, even on Netflix, even uh, ones that I can binge. I, I don't want to get taken up by fiction. I'd prefer to know unadulterated um, just information, data. So anyway, not the most exciting piece, I think, today, but uh, that's me. Feel free to like, unlike comment, subscribe, or none of those things. Same way that you would if somebody, um, if you did something like this. I'm, I don't know, I'm completely mixed up. Uh, it's probably all of that noise that you're hearing in the background. It's hard for me to concentrate with all of these other sounds going on. Anyway, have a good one, peace.